we're going to have some... <laughs> okay, not do you think. How do you think the drama was going to go had Deegan not fucked up in that heat race and caught him? Well, I mean, he did catch him, but I think Smitty also backed it down a little bit. But, dude, okay. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Here yes, we, here, here comes go. our Hayden Deegan section. Here we go. Which, he by finished the way, fourth, by the way, so he, we're he all good. Fourth. No, man, he, right rode, he rode good. Look, he, it, it, what? In the middle of the race, he ran the fastest lap time by a second. Like, dude, hey, he ran the fastest lap last week in yeah, the fucking three mud times. on the last lap. Yeah, no, like, dude, fast. Going to get second in the points, like, riding good. Outdoor. We, we might, as we were leading the charge of the tone down the Hay- Hayden Deegan hype here. Well, we'll see what happens. Out we course. might have underestimated his Supercross speed a little bit. <laughs> Supercross, yes. Outdoors, I agree with Coach. I think he's going to get a reality check outdoors. He probably is. But Which, I by the way, did call, you see that? I don't consider him an outdoor guy. No, did so. you see that comment, though, that was left, like, me being, I want to be the edgy guy, the dog on Deegan? I yes. don't think I dogged on Deegan last I don't know night. if it was edgy dogging on Deegan or if it was just the edgy guy, period. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was just period, but so which is fine. You like, do. Whatever, you're, whatever. You trying to be edgy? Yeah, like you okay. want to be that kid that like nobody likes me and so, I paint my fingernails black and like this whatever. is like 2005, 2005 like, all over okay. again. Um, here's the thing though, and look, he's young. He's gonna learn this as it goes on. We've seen the drama that happened in Detroit, and I and I like it when you like put your balls on the crossbar pad and like you like don't take shit from people. I'll ask you this: Do you really think sticking the front wheel in there? on that heat race was necessary. I don't think it was necessary, but here is what it's I, who he is. Here is, I here I is what have... I like about him. I believe, and this is just me speaking. He is, I don't want to say he's trying to be like his father, but it would not surprise me at all. Let me put on my TLR tinfoil hat here that there have been some conversations between Brian and Hayden and stuff with the, just some of the comments he's made in press conferences and stuff like that of look dude when i did when i did freestyle motocross i was the bad boy and look how that worked out so like was the first actually, time he gets a win he's going to ghost ride the bike over the finish oh he's doing that for <laughs> sure don't get um, don't get that twisted that's happening but what i'm saying is the level of i don't give a fuck about anybody in this series period is high with him do you think he tries to pull? Do you think if, if 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 he was racing Jet, he would pull that shit with Jet? I honestly don't think he gives a shit. To be honest so, with you, okay. So that's no I'm, matter who it is. Yeah, I'm. So I'm glad you said that. I'm really glad you said that. So you can because this is not. There's no right or wrong answer to this question. Yeah. Do you think he realizes though that at age 17 he already everybody he knows he already has a target on his back and you know what? Yeah. He didn't. He didn't earn that. He just. It's the way it is. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't earn any of the negativity that he's gotten, whether it be from us, anybody else. He hasn't earned it. He just product of his environment. It wasn't his decision to, hey, we're going to call you danger, but do all this. It's it's just who it is, and it's it's unfortunate, but the way it is. But he already knows. Do you think though, and you and and maybe it doesn't matter because what? And I agree, he doesn't care. But do you think he knows though that if he wants to have a long career in this industry, that he needs to tone back the intensity a little bit because at some point you're going to piss off the wrong person, and you're going to get taken out. And there are some guys, they're few and far between these days, because this isn't the 90s, there are some guys that have no problem breaking your leg. I will and say, I understand it's Hayden Deegan, and there will be a big shit storm coming with it, and we almost we didn't see that level, but like we almost saw it with Smitty, but we know that there was that was only going to go so far. But there are some guys that don't care who you are, they don't care who your dad is, they don't care who the team that you ride for, and eventually you're going to piss off the wrong person, and you're going to pay for it. And I don't wish that on anybody. I don't want to see any of these dudes hurt, especially a 17-year-old kid that has that much talent and that bright a future. Yeah. But I'm telling you this right now. <clears throat> if he keeps being intense the way he is and doesn't learn to know when that's appropriate, like the heat race, dude, it, you were never going to stick the front. Even Stu and Ricky said there was no way unless he was going to saw off his front end, which if you would have, had, holy fuck. <laughs> it was unnecessary. If that was the main, all for it, bro. I don't yeah. care if that's your teammate or not because let's be real. Teammates these days don't really mean – it's just a word we use. Nobody really gives a shit. It's the heat race, bro. You have no chance. You're 10 bike links back mm-hmm. unless you're going to tee him up yeah. and take him out. But back to my initial question. Do you think he realizes that unless he learns to tone the intensity back a little bit, at some point he's going to piss off the wrong dude and he's not going to like what's going to happen on the other end of it? Do you yeah. think he thinks about that? I'll tell you the same thing I, I said 30 seconds ago. I don't think he gives a fuck. And Do you think I, he'll and, care, though, the moment maybe, that it happens, though? Maybe I'm reading too far no, into this. No, I think this. you're right. I think you're right. I, I fully believe 
with the way that the whole Deegan Empire has been set up since the, since the institution of the Metal Militia way back in the day, I fully believe at this point that, and like I said, maybe I'm reading too much into this, or there's too much tinfoil hat, and they probably tell me I'm crazy, but well, I, I fully believe I right. that, that Brian's like, look, dude, everybody in this industry here for the last however many years has been so vanilla and so just like, oh, let's be cool with everyone. Be the guy who's not cool with everyone like, because you will absolutely just went over people went like like it will pay dividends for years to come and to be honest the way he rode that yesterday there when he was trying to throw it in on smith there in the heat again it's hard to prove me wrong with what he's doing there and here's the thing i think he i think initially they started the season just like they were talking about Hey, but then we're the just first here time to he learn got the Daytona, I was going to say, but as soon as, as soon as he won that heat race in Tampa, oh yeah, it went, it because went, he made uh-oh. the comment, because he made the comment, he's like, oh, I, I wish I would, let's be real, he was never going to beat Hunter, but he made the comment and they talked about it, oh, like, I wish I would have tried a little bit. So. There's a hair floating here and I could see it. Go ahead. He made the comment, oh, I wish I would have tried a little bit harder with Hunter and yeah. like, so this whole thing, like I said, oh, like uh, this and that, like come on, guys, like that was only to a point. But we go into outdoors this year. That I was that. There's no excuses in outdoors, and maybe he does really, really well. Whatever proves me wrong again. But to my point about taking people out, it's never going to happen in Supercross, but outdoors it can. Perfect example. You know who? There's a guy. He's not racing right now, so and he's been hurt. Michael Moseman. Michael Moseman will take you out. Supercross is not going to happen because I think well, Hayden Deegan has surpassed him in speed Supercross-wise. Yeah. But outdoors, we know if Moseman is healthy and he's confident how fast he is. Well, that's a whole, I don't know if you've heard, but that I'm not sure that we're going to see. I don't know what's going to happen with him. What do you mean? Well, I know that the team's unhappy with him, but like why? He's oh, he's not- off, oh, he's off that team for sure, but it's a, it's an injury thing. And uh, like that injury that they kept real hush-hush last year that was super bad, I, it yeah, I, there's been rumors flying around that he might right. be done. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. That's a bummer. But you say what you want about. But anyways, my point is, RJ Hampshire's another guy. He does not care. He no. will take you out. No. Levi Kitchen is proven with Jet. But then I again, just, but I then don't. again, too, if you if you have the if you have the attitude of I'm the bad boy and I'm just here to fuck shit up. Number one, I don't think you're going to get that with him outdoors because I don't honestly. No, because I think he's going to be pretty far off the pace this year. Outdoors. Not only that, I don't think they give a shit. In fact, I know they don't. The way Brian talks and everything, because I've, I, I'm sure you have too. But I've watched some of their vlogs and stuff and listened to some of the stuff he says. They don't give a shit about outdoors. They care less. They're gonna race it because they have to. I'll tell you what though, if that kid rips a hole eight at any point though, I think that that attitude goes out the chain, the door for that moto. Yeah. Because if that kid rips a star, you can't sit there and tell. And I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with any yeah. of the points you just made. But you also, I don't care who it is, even if it was Brian sitting across from me, you can't sit there and tell me that that kid rips a holy at Paula one, the first or Paula first moto. Mm-hmm. That kid's adrenaline's not going to kick in, and he's going to go yeah. through the roof and try to win that shit. Yeah, but like I said, I don't th- honestly, I don't think they give a shit. I think it's fully like, yo, let's not be like, let's in reality on the back end, let's not really be an asshole and a bad guy, mm. but on the front end. Let's be a bad guy. Yeah, I just... My, I think, <laughs> you are a bad guy, yeah, but I you just, are not bad guy. I just think that there's a time and place to race like that, and there's a time and place where you got to know. And like I said, he's young, he's 17, he's going to learn. But I just think that at some point, his intensity is going to bite him in the ass because there's yeah, just maybe. guys that don't care. It there's could. actually guys that will want to do that to you because of who you are. And it's not fair to him. It's but, not fair to him yeah, who but, he is. But again, I think if he, if he buys into it fully, much like it... I mean, look at what his dad did. No, His know. dad was the the bad boy against Travis Pastrana, who everybody oh. loved, still loves. So like, so it's like one yeah. of those things of like, Brian knows how to navigate this seat. Oh, yeah. He knows how to navigate it. So, and like I said, we haven't had a guy like you've got like Cooper Webb, who's kind of like that Barsha. edgy, quiet guy. Yeah, and but Barsha's still like he had Weston Pike, but Weston was not winning races. I was gonna say, and here's the thing: I think you're gonna see Deegan go through his whole career just like this. He's not going to give anybody any space. He doesn't give a fuck who you are. He's going to go to the front. That's then what I, he's going to try to do. But all I'll say to him is I hope he realizes he's going to get take he's going to end up on the ground uh, quite a few times. I I fully think it's going to be a situation too of like like with Jet too of like he doesn't give a shit about you, man. But the difference with Jet though is is Jet has already backed it up and yeah. I and Jet has the race IQ yeah. to play those games. We saw that you can rattle Jet. 
because he's human and he's still a kid. But you can rattle Jet, but he knows how to play those games. Mm -hmm. Deegan, I think, is just going off of pure intensity and adrenaline and being a 17-year-old kid. Yeah. And he's going to have to learn some things. If Because, look, if you want to play those games, Barsh has been doing it his entire career. Mm -hmm. If you want to play those games, we know you can do it. You just have to learn how to play the game. He's going to have to learn, and I just hope that he realizes there's going to be coming some growing pains. And I think about ultimately is, I don't want to see him throw away a shot at a title because of the fact that he wants to be the edgy guy. He wants to be the bad boy. Yeah, but I don't but I don't think he'll do that cuz I don't see him I don't see him being Barsha style. No, cuz <laughs> like take, yeah. off front wheels. I just see him he's not going to give anybody any room and he then will ride you. He well and that's fine. Again, I think I think he his dad is going to is going to guide him through that of like, look dude, if this is this is the path we're going to go down here, which is going to help the brand mm -hmm. essentially and that is going to lead to guys are going to come in and try to do this to you. You have to be you okay have to with be ready for ground. it, and you yeah. have to be okay with it. Like you cannot be mad and stand up there and be like, I mean, you can to an extent. Like again, you're going to have to go pro wrestling on this, mm -hmm. man. That's bullshit, man. Yeah, on yeah. the podium and stuff like that. But then behind closed doors, just be like, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Like I'm going to race these dudes hard because here's the thing too is like from what he showed already this first year. He's gonna be good. Of course, he's gonna. He's be. He's gonna be real, and I'm not talking Jordan Smith and that kind of. Good. No, he's gonna. He's he's probably he's gonna have a shot at winning championship. I was gonna say I don't see him next level. Um, I don't see him next level jet speed essentially, but he's gonna be Hunter Lawrence mm -hmm. style. Like Maybe. I like I see him getting to that. I mean, he point. definitely he's de he's definitely has the the potential and the the talent. Yeah, to do it and all the things in place. But he also still, like, there's, I mean, like I said, he's going to have Joe Schmota to deal with. Mm -hmm. He's going to have Nate to yeah. deal with. He's going to have Hamaker. He's going to have Levi Kitchen. Yeah. There's guys he's going to have to deal with. And do I put him in that group? Yes, he's already proven he can be. But I also don't think that right away next year, because they kept saying, well, man, he's going to be scary with a full off season." Look, dude, this kid's been riding Supercross. He's been riding with fast dudes. Yeah, he has. He's, he's going to be I okay. I do think coming in next year, though, I think it like it's going to be different. It's going to be different. But here's the thing, though, is. How much different is it really going to be, though? Because the next level, the next thing to do, and Daniel's talking about this, is getting a win. Yeah. And then getting multiple wins. Well, I think, I, I fully believe with the way the season's gone, the plan next year is going to be we are going to podium every single race. But I don't have him as a favorite for a title next I don't have year. him as a favorite, but, but he's, he's going to podium. Win race. He's going to win races. He's going to get podium. Yeah. Yep. Yep, and then maybe by the time he turns year, nineteen, year three is yep. when it's going to be like, oh shit. But it also it also depends on because the guys who's going to be around in that class. Yeah, it's not saying that he can't pass them, but like I said, if Joe decides to stick around that long, like mm -hmm. I said, there's there's got Levi Kitchen's trajectory is through the roof. We don't know what. So yes, is he going to win races? Is he going to podium? Yes, but I still think we're another year to two away before you start going. Oh, he's definitely a title contender. Yeah, they. I guess yeah. I just. Look, yeah, great I don't, second I don't in see, points. I don't see title contender next year, but I'm definitely with you of like the year after. It's like it's go. Time oh, it's gung ho. It's gung ho. Which, like I said, is going to be very interesting to see what they do. And that really depends too, though, because like, dude, if his trajectory next year is the way it is this year, which again, I don't see it because like we went on a very steep trajectory this year. Mm -hmm. So to go any more, there's just the that, difference is, is what's like the difference vertical. in the off, what's the difference in the off season as opposed to what he's done before. I think it's just that's not getting stronger I, physically. I think it's just like. Uh, was it Stu or was it Ricky that was talking about on the broadcast? It's just a mindset difference going in because his mindset this year was not even to race pro, and then all of a sudden was like, oh yeah, like, but he was already for outdoors. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm just saying for Supercross because I'm because I mean it's just like they said, like look at the way his and and we've all talked about this. Look at the way his um uh, uh futures, futures race mm -hmm. went, and then the next week he's fourth. Yeah, in in 250 East, like dude, that is a that is a. Shoo! trajectory oh, like for sure. it's fucking nuts and i think the trajectory will slow down but if it doesn't if it's like, like it would not surprise me whether he races east west whatever next year if the trajectory doesn't slow down i mean it is he's gonna win the first round and he's gonna battle for wins all year and then by the time you get halfway through whatever coast he's on next year you're gonna be like this dude's the title guy I mean, he could be. He he definitely, obviously, has all the tools and the the talent and the know how to do it. Yeah, it's just like I said. There's 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 guys that are still going to be there next year. Yep. And if they're healthy, it's going to put a it's going to put a a damper on that because we've we've seen it multiple times, and it's the only thing, and and that comes with you have to have this to get a win. Mm -hmm. We've seen when everybody's there, 
that he is still a tick off as far as I and I know he put the yeah. fast lap in and that's it is what it is. But he's still the speed. This speed's much better though than the first round too. Oh, for sure. We all, for sure. we all. He's gotten out of the box three times. Yeah. He's set fast laps. Whatever. He's won heat races. But like I said, that is still the one thing that he's, and that can work out in the off season. He can work out it. And like I said, maybe he does go win the first round next year, and he puts himself in a really good spot. I just think that when if you have to deal with Joe Schmoda, a healthy Joe Schmoda, yeah, oh yeah, I think it's. I, I'm not going to pick him over Joe. There's going. I mean, there's going to be challengers. We'll yeah. we'll see. I mean, it's he's it's definitely super in the, interesting. He's definitely in that five rider group next mm-hmm. year, no matter what coast he's on for being a title contender. I'm here's the thing. I'm super glad we have him now because since Chet's moving out of the class, if we don't have if we don't have him, the 250 class overall gets boring ish next year. Why do you say that? Because there isn't like a top like like a real top top guy like like you had jet coming in and you're like dude oh he's gonna like a dominate. guy that's gonna change things and stuff yeah he's gonna dominate whatever coast you know then it's kind of one of those it's like back in the air and it's kind of like a building year of like well this guy could win or this guy could win. well how crazy is it the thing that next year you're five guys since we know hunter's going 450 yeah your five guys if they're all healthy is joe schmota hayden deegan nate thrasher seth hamaker and levi kitchen mm-hmm. those are your five like think about like i know we're, we got to move on but just think about that for one second yeah those are your five guys yeah. that are your title guys, mm-hmm. which all five of them are very deserved of it. But those are your five guys right there that are going to be your title guys if they're all healthy, which and, they all deserve it. And yeah. they've all proven they can win. Yeah, they've all won a main. Yeah. Well, I mean, Nate's won more and, and Seth is Levi, is, has 